Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on Ravenport. We are going to carry straight on from where we left off in the last episode. So let's get to it. Uh, so let's just, we'll go to 5 o'clock and we'll stop again. We'll have a look, we'll see what the process, the, the progress is at 5 o'clock. Because uh, we're going to want to deal with any weeds that do come through. I don't want to be leaving those in the field for, um, like, causing us any issues. Oh, no, no, no. We don't need to deal with weeds. I forgot. I switched weeds off on this map, didn't I? Right. Well, that's, that's much better. We don't have to deal with the weeds. We don't have to do the spraying at all. Um, I completely forgot about that. I know that we left the lime on. But, yeah, because the weed was coming up every time, it was starting to become a bit tedious. So we switched that particular feature off just just for the sake of convenience um maybe we'll turn it on for a future series but right now we won't worry about it so we don't have to worry about weed all i gotta do is get that case off of the field up there i might go and grab that one a minute because i don't like the idea of fast forwarding too much time while i've got the tractor stuck in the middle of the field we will we'll return this one we'll completely return this one and we'll get the more powerful forager I know that it's an extra expense to go and get it and perhaps we may not want to be having extra expenses like that but I still don't think it's necessarily a bad thing right let's let's put you to there then and I go like that uh, I will return yes okay and then I will return that one as well right so yeah I know that is an extra expense that we're going to have Let's start fast forwarding time again. We'll go to 120 times speed. We'll bring you down off the field over here. And we'll drive you back home, taking the sign with us. Once we get this one back down to the yard, we can... Actually, there isn't anything else that I need to worry about doing tonight. We would literally just want to uh, skip the night now. We'll have this grow. We can check on our animals in the morning and make sure that there's nothing too drastic on any of them. We've got to... Is that for wood... Is that for wood chips? That's, that's bound to be wood chips, isn't it? Great demand at sawmill for wood, wood chips. Yeah, that's that's just great. Okay. Um, so we could have got more. I didn't bother checking the price for the wood chips. I just went and sold them as is. So the price could have been... Um, like, if I'd waited properly to get the, the correct price for those wood chips at the sawmill, obviously that could have factored in quite a bit differently and made a significant difference to um, our overall profit yield from that field. Um, yeah, th that, is, that is one good thing about this game. You, you really do have to watch when and how you sell your products. It's, it's not necessarily... A very good idea just to you know, rush off and, and sell stuff immediately it, it actually it's it seems to be very rare that that is a good idea and it's proved that once again it was it was not a good idea to just rush off and sell the wood chips perhaps we should have just kept them back a little bit and even if we just kept them back for a few hours just to see what we would get for it um but i think we did do a fair comparison we, we've done we've done a reasonable comparison across the field and i would say that leasing a forager in order to do wood chips is not worth it it definitely does not seem to be worth the expense of the forager to go and do that job i don't think that is something that we would want to do again in the future um if even if we did decide to do wood chips if if we well poplars if we did decide to do poplars again in the future, I think that we would um, we would definitely use the baler rather than using anything else. Right, let's lower that one down there, and off you go. Just going to pull that one forward a little bit, and we're going to leave it there. And then we're going to run over this way. Cerberus, the better time we fed you. I don't think we've fed you for about three weeks, so he's, he's probably getting a little bit hungry by now. Um, there's only so much foraging for himself that he can really do. So if we give him a little bit of food. Yeah, now he's happy. Look, see? Being the king of the underworld. Well, maybe not king. Uh, gu guardian of the underworld. Being the guardian of the... Un oh. Okay, I've, I've had him twice. Well, I am, I am making up for a week of neglect. So, um, yeah, he's, he's, he's much better now. Right, go. Fetch. Really? That was your fetch? Let's try that again. Dude! All right, I, 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 I get it. There you go. Right, fetch. Nice. 
Now he's actually... Is, is he going to bring it? Is he... Bring it back here, then. Come on. Um... Not quite sure how he's holding that. Again. How, how long are we going to spend doing this? I haven't got all day to play, mate. Right, we'll have, we have to leave him to it. We'll, have, we'll leave him to it. Let's just very quickly go and check our animals a second and make sure that they are all looking sweet. We have got in here, we've got 16,000 in there. We've got 12,000 there, but we're still doing just fine. They got 10. They've got enough to keep them going as well. The sheep, uh, they'll want water first thing in the morning. Then water and straw could be done for the horses there and water and straw for there. Right, they're, they're all doing absolutely fine. Let me run up into here and get a little bit of sleep. I'm going to have 12 hours. Uh, you know what? No, I'm going to I'm going to go with a full 14 hours of sleep. That's a good that's that's a good good sleep that is. Uh, it's going to take us to what nine o'clock in the morning. I think we're going nine. Forty-two thousand one hundred in leasing. Co oh no, it says forty-two thousand. That's for the previous twenty-four hours. It's not actually forty-two thousand overnight. And what is, if, if I've got weeds on the field now? Oh no, the poplars are coming back up again. Look at that. They're actually growing back up again. So we could just leave them and do another harvest. So it does do that. That's actually quite cool that they do grow back up again. I mean, not that it makes any difference because we're plowing them all in anyway. But um, yeah, it's, it's nice to know that it's a thing. And now we can have a look down through these. Right, so yeah, they, they definitely need some of that. Uh, we've got, oh, wait a minute. Productive, that's 100%. Devanch, Mahajan, we've got, oh no, 85. Yeah, okay, right. So those are on 85. Those are on 74. This is 100. That's 65. And 95. Right, I knew I'd have some on 95. We'll be changing those horses very soon. I'm not going to do it just yet. Dog is back at Doghouse. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Right, okay, well, we'll leave him there for a minute. And we go and have a look up here. So we've got growth. It is ready to harvest. Nine o'clock in the morning, we are ready to go up there and harvest. I'm wondering how we should do this. I don't think I've got quite enough money to be able to go and harvest yet. I've, I could get the wool right here. We could sell that. I'm, well, actually, I've got the horses to sell, so we, we could do the horses and we could sell those. Uh, what else? What is that? Oh, this is ball. Why are you bringing that down here? Throw it over there. Is he going to go for it? No, he's, he's, he's generally ignoring us now, I think. Right, okay. Uh, how much? Let's just have a quick look a second. How much is the new one? This this one here that I want. Uh, we're going. We've got uh, wide tires on there. We've got right, wide tires or standard wheel brand Midas or Trelborg or Michelin. Let's go with Midas because it's not something that we really used. Um, pipe. We can have standard or we can have the extent. I like the long pipe. I don't know why, but I like the long pipe. That's twenty six thousand four hundred for that. It's not leaving us a lot of money left over, but we do we are able to get that one. So let's lease that one a minute. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's leaving us eight hundred dollars, which is not enough to be able to get the header, as far as I know. Forage harvester header. Uh, it's that one there that I'm going to want, and that one is six thousand dollars to lease. That is one hundred and twenty thousand for this header. Yeah. Uh, we, we we don't have that. We're gonna have to sell some stuff. Well, no, the, the horses will do. I'm just thinking, before we go rushing off to do anything at all, we want to go to Dolly's right here, and Dolly and Lease. Okay, and I want to double check that our beautiful, beautiful crone right here will actually be able to take the machine that we want it to take. Uh, well, the, the trailer on the back that we want it to take. And the only way it's going to be able to do that is if it picks up one of these. Problem. It does not pick up one of these. This is the wrong sort of hitch. Which means that we can't pull the trailer behind the crone that we want to pull. 
is going to cause us some serious problems. Uh, right, well, this this is um, messed things up big time. Let's go and have a look in here. And we've got no options. It's, it's got a hitch on the back. But it's only got the one type of trailer. And that type of trailer, if we go into here, it'll take this one. It'll take the high trailer, but it won't take those low ones. And the dollies come out as the low trailers. They come out as the low hitch point. Which means that we can actually use the... Well, wait a minute. What about the other dolly? Does the other dolly... No, that one's exactly the same, isn't it? That one's going to be exactly the same. It doesn't have an alternative to go for the higher hitch point. Which means that I can't have that trailer going around behind, which, I mean... Well, we can get a different trailer... It's, this is this isn't what I wanted to do though. This 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 is not perfect. This is not ideal. I can get one of those which will go behind it, but we've essentially we've limited it now. We can't use any of these. I can't use the the um the mod. There is this one, right? This one's forty five thousand liters. Now that's not great. I was wanting eighty thousand liters because eighty thousand is considerably better. Uh, that one is only 21. You've got these nice big ones here, 60. I mean, obviously, our one is a lot better than that. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do if we can't pull our trailer around? Hmm. Um. Because it's, it's, it's only really for the outside round, isn't it? The rest of the field should be fine. Let's get, let's get our corn header a minute. We get that one. No, not that one. Um, I need the, the forage harvester header right here. We want that one right there. You do not... Oh, yeah, okay. Um, I forgot about that. Right. I'm just going to shut you off and I'm going to leave you there for a minute. I'm going to go back over to here, which basically renders these two completely useless. I mean, not completely useless. Let's just keep in mind that these two here, we can still use these. Right, we can still fill up both of these. We can run alongside the uh, forage harvester. We can fill both of these trailers as we run along the field, and we will probably do that. But we really, we want something just to take the first rounds around the outside of the field. And I don't want to do that. Let's not try and crash this thing, just just to start off with. Let's, let's see if we can keep this one running nicely. Um... If we'll go up to the field a minute. I reckon once around the outside of the field with the forager should be enough. I don't think we'll need to do more than that. And then we can sort of rely on the standard hired help and uh, just, just running it like that. So, you know, once around with the 45,000 litre one. I can park up these trailers here somewhere. I can. I could even just like put these over on the side of the road over here somewhere, uh, just just a little bit out of the way, like this. Look, if I if I come up over here, like that, and I stop there. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to go like that and unhitch that one. So we go like that, and we get the forty-five thousand liter trailer, and that one will go on the back. Of course, the other option is not to get the trailer at all, and that is to come up and see if we can do it all just as it is. But we need a little bit of cash first. So in order to be able to get a little bit of cash, we've either got to sell wool or we've got to sell eggs. So we'll run back down to the farm and we'll see what we're... Hang on, what's the price is doing? Right now, what can we get? Oops, let's go here. Uh, wool is giving us 1745. It's not very good. We get 4,400 for eggs right there. The central grain elevator. Wool's not... We don't need a huge amount. Right now, we don't need a huge amount, do we? I mean, yes, there's a whole load of other things that we want to do. But I'm thinking... Actually, why don't we just go to what I said we'd do just now? And, um, we'll, we'll, we'll do the horses. We'll sell the horses... We'll buy the new horses, we'll have the money for everything that we want, and we could ignore everything else, and we can get straight on with this silage. Let's go whizzing up through here. Sorry, I got distracted, completely and totally squirreled by the fact that we can't use our machines the way that I wanted to use our machines. And this is genuinely heartbreaking, you know. 
I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely upset by this. Right. We've got our four horses right here that we're going to sell. So, Ivelios, we're going to sell you. Jamie O'Connell, Nigel Pipe, and Miss Pelt are all going to be sold. We're going to get $188,900 for those, which means that I want to buy four new horses. So, we've got the money now. We have got the money. Um, what have we got over here? We've got black down through... Yeah, we've got... Those four, haven't we? I think I've already got a grey. Yeah. You know what? It doesn't matter. We're just going to buy these four over here. So I want one, two, three, and four, just to keep things easy. And then I've got um, those over there. Right. We will confirm that right there. Now I will go through and do the naming a second. Randall White. Okay, so we got McStallion YT on the road. I'm all ears you and Randall White. There are our new horses all in place. We've now got a big pile of cash. So I didn't actually need to bring that one down. So we don't need to worry about... Well, I didn't need to. Let's just go and see. No, we won't worry about the wool. We'll ignore all of that. I'll take this one back up to the top. We will... I'll tell you what we will do in a minute. We'll leave that one going. You are... You're doing a magnificent job. Right? We're, we're very pleased with your progress. You're doing a wonderful job. We're just going to leave you to it and let you carry on. And we're going to go back over to you. I want to return that dolly right there. That one is no good to me anymore. So I want to go to garage. Least items down here. And I've got three cramper dollies. Point one, zero, right, that is the one that I want to return right there. Yes, that'll be the one beside us. And then I want to go to trailers in here, and we'll go for the 45,000 litre one. Uh, the one there with those rattly sides, this is actually the one that I used in the time lapse. I thought it was quite a cool one. Uh, that's 35. We can have 45,000 with this one right here. Without, it's like it's, um, a, a solid built one right there. Or we can go with this one, which is got these sides on it. And I actually quite like this one. I think this one looks really good. Uh, so we're going to keep that one right there. You've, um, wide tires is just the standard. We can have Michelin or Trailborg. I'm going to go with the Trailborg ones. I think they look slightly better. And we will lease that bad boy right there. Okay. And I come out of there. Now, you should... Oh, wait a minute. Nope, there was there was one more thing that we wanted to do, and that was actually get the forager. The forage header, right there. Um, details, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, lease. Yes, okay. We've got you as well now. Cooking on gas now. Right. First up, let's... Uh, see, if I just pop that one right in front, that is actually... In the right spot, which is absolutely fantastic. I can't believe that the dollies, you can't put a dolly on the back of one of these. I'm very, very disappointed about that. We'll have to look at an alternative hitch for one of the crone, or for, for one of the foragers at some point. Um, I don't know when we will do it, but we will have a look at getting an alternative hitch so that we are actually able to do that. Right. We want to take this one. We want to get up to the silage field. There's another job that we're going to want, uh, another machine that we're going to want to get as well. And that is something to level off the pit with. And my normal go-to machine for that is a wheel loader of some kind with a either leveler or just a bucket on it. Um, I, I think it works quite well using one of those, but I'm not quite sure. I'm actually considering just getting a great big tractor this time round and doing it with that. Um, we've got some fairly big stuff here, but now that we're do we've got this silage harvest to do, We've got a load of eggs at the moment. We've got money now that we can buy more chicken pens very, very soon. So we will very soon be expanding out um, for more money as well. It's, it's not going to be very long now before we are actually able to go and buy the big fields that we've set our target on this map and then be moving on. 
Right, so we are very quickly approaching the end of this series. Um, it's probably about time, really. We are on episode 98, I think, right now. So, you know, we'll have done well in excess of 100 episodes by the time we do actually finish on here. So my question is, what? where do you want me to go next? I'm not actually going to do an official question, but uh, I do want you to start putting suggestions in the comment section for future maps where do you want us to go next what would you like us to do do you want us to stay in the states do you want us to move from the states altogether there's several different maps i'm not going to go and do marwell manor i've already looked at that in the um live stream a little bit it's not one that we're going to be going and spending a load of time on um there are some others that are out that we could go and consider but you know I, i'm not really sure what i want to do at the moment I'm unsure what I want to do, and I'm unsure what you all want me to do as well. So, yeah, get get and make some suggestions, and, and we'll have a look, and then we can talk about it later on. Now, I am seriously considering using this one to do the rolling of the clamp. Right? We haven't used this tractor, and this is a monster tractor, isn't it? And I mean, yeah, we can't move anything around with this one. Literally, all we'd be able to do is just roll backwards and forwards... Um, we would be relying a lot more on correct positioning of the truck when we bring it in. Uh, obviously, if we were going to use this one, we would do it like that, because why not? I don't even know if that would fit into the clamp, actually. I think it would, because the clamp is quite wide in the, um, in the watch me call there, isn't it? Um, you know what? Let's, let's, <laughs> let's do it. Let's, let's go all out. We're going to le we're, we're going to lease that one for triple wheels. We're going to do this. We're going to have the Big Bud rolling the clamp. So let's go and get the Big Bud. That one, yeah, we're bringing you back up to the top fairly soon. Um, right, buddy, where are you? There it is. Look at this beast of a tractor. It's also rather slow. We take this one. I am i can't even get across the normal crossing point for the train, I don't think. The triple wheel. Oh, I can just. I'm very curious to see if it, like, traffic coming the other way, that's, that's just, yeah, it, it just stops us from being able to go anywhere, doesn't it? Because uh, now I've got to dodge the trees. Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to sit and wait for ages for the next car to come through. Uh, oh, no, I, I can just I can just skip up through there like that. Oh, this is, this is awesome. This, <laughs> look at this thing. This is enormous. Oh, this is fantastic. I really hope that it fits. Like, we've, we've got this absolutely massive great big thing coming along here. And now, of course, the, the big question is, will it fit? Is it actually going to get in there? Or is it just going to be too big to cope with it? I'm very, very curious about this now. Go on then. Big bud. Are you going to be too big? That is the question. It's the all-important question. Can you fit? Because otherwise, if you can't, we've just wasted 20 grand on this. But I think this is this is just such a perfect thing for rolling the silage clamp down with. I mean, I'd like it to be able to have a little bit of movement on it as well. I don't want it to just be, like, you know, only able to just run up and down in one spot. Because otherwise, you know, essentially we're not rolling anything that's underneath the cab. I do want it to be able to have some adjustment as it moves around and does its rolling. We can fit in through here. You know, I think we might. Uh, yes, look, it's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be a look at that. We've got loads of room in here. Oh, this, this, is, this is absolutely wonderful. This, this is going to this is going to be beautiful. Right. The big bud is going to go there. Now, we're only bringing it in 40,000 litres at a time to start with. Because of that one right there, 45,000 litres per turn. But that's okay. We don't mind that just to start off with. So, let's go to the machine there. We will go to the front and we will unfold you. And we will go to the main machine again and we will unfold that one. I love the way the cab extends on this one. Just lifts up like that. The long extension on the forager arm is perfect for this trailer. It's, it, it works well with any trailer. Um, it's just a shame that we couldn't do what I wanted to do, which was have the, the, the different 
like have the dolly being able to fit on the back. Um, I'm very disappointed with that. I am very extremely disappointed with that. I was seriously considering using a Stevie mod to do this, um, using the Forager Stevie mod because he's got a onboard capacity on that one of something like a hundred thousand liters. I can't I can't remember exactly what it was. Uh, but it was very handy having that onboard capacity, but I don't think we will. We're going to try and do this a little bit more sensibly, and then when we move, we can look at using more Stevie mods in the future. Um, certainly, if we go to like a four times map, like the Australian four times map that I did one of my live streams on, uh, we'd use a lot of Stevie mods on that one. That's that's for certain sure. Uh, if we decided not to, you know, if we're not going there, um, we're going other places, there's, I would still probably want to be using more Stevie mods in the future, I think, uh, with faster combining and stuff like that, because that way we get through the jobs that much faster. We've got the Super Hardcore series, which is also essentially a super realistic series as well. I do everything I can on that one as absolutely realistically as I possibly can so you, you've got kind of you, you've got the realism going on on that one whereas this we just kind of want to get through the game really don't we we want to try and do as much as we possibly can and the Stevie mods they really help us with that they really do they they push things along quite nicely so we'd be harvesting right now probably about double this speed We'd have a load of onboard capacity as well, which would really help us. And I don't know, he may even have adjustable hitches on the back so that you can take all types of trailers rather than just the one, which that would also be very, very useful right about now. We've just about done this one run. Now, our lorry, our truck, that one should be able to take this trailer. Uh... Yeah, it can take this trailer. There's no reason it won't be able to. So it, there we go, we stop that. Now, I don't know how much capacity this one's got on board, right? If I go along a little bit, it doesn't actually tell me anywhere whether it's got capacity or not. I'll back up a little bit. And you notice that we do back really, really slowly. That is because this trailer actually has a very, very slow reversing speed built into it that's actually on there and you can if you select the, we'll just shut that one off a second if you go there and you select the actual thing if you see the third option up maximum speed in reverse four you've got km to alter that uh that's actually set by the trailer so you can alter that if you want to and you can reverse faster or slower i think it's a really cool idea it just makes it a little bit easier for backing that type of trailer um, because, let's face it, there's quite a few people that do struggle with that, me included. I, I struggle to back those types of trailers most of the time. So having that little option on there, I think that's absolutely wonderful. It's a very, very cool thing. How's our plowing doing? He's doing really well with the plowing. I think he's just about finished, though. He's, I don't think he's going to be able to come back up round and do this last little bit. We'll leave him to it. We're not going to worry about him right now. The big job we want to do is get this silage done. Then the next big thing that we need to do is we're going to need to be able to sell the silage. Which means that I'm going to want to shift it as fast as possible. And that's actually going to be a bit of an issue. Right? Because there are... Um, th there's quite a few different ways that we can do it. But they're all fairly slow. That's the one thing now with silage. With, with moving it to sell it. Well, there we go, folks. I'm afraid that's it. We've run out of time, which means that we need to head on home. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.